That beaver's been pooping in it last night. <laughs> so when you have, grow up and have kids, Agent X, you can say to your kids, Boy, I tell you what, when I was a kid, we drank pond water and beaver poop in it. What are you complaining about? <laughs> It's good to see you again, Tracker. Yeah. Are you gonna camp with us? Huh? In the pond? You gonna do that, huh? So our pond is more full than it has ever been before. We've had some crazy rains here lately, plus a bunch of snow melting. I wanna camp right there. But first, we build a boat. A camping boat. Half of 90 is 45, yeah? And what's 20, half of? 22 and a half. Yep. So do 22 and a half and then 45 plus. Ah! Yeah, you gotta watch it. Don't ever trust a baby and don't ever trust a measuring tape. Both of them will bite you if given the chance. <laughs> And here, this is a safety. You push that down and then pull the trigger. Now, same thing as with this. This is a cutting blade. The safety here is maintain control. Okay. Except it's one that goes exactly. super fast. Exactly. So this thing, it's, it's unexpected. It can kick back. <laughs> Okay, so now the question is, can I lift this thing? <laughs> oh, kind of. I can kind of lift it. Ah, our neighbor's here. So, uh, you think it'll float? Until <laughs> water gets in them. Till, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've seen some people on the internet to do it. So, if people on the internet can do it, I can do it, right? What's that crack there? You know, that's what I thought when I first saw it, but it's just the, it's like the mold, I guess, you know, what's left over.
So what do you think? You want to camp on it? Uh. You feel safe? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so we're floating down to the dam right now. This is the problem with this thing. Is that it's being pushed this way by the current. So I got to find a way to keep it to where it's floating out in the middle of the pond. I think we're going to have to run some ropes to that tree and that tree over there. Or we could get some kind of anchor and anchor it down on the ground. Maybe I'll do that. We need an anchor. Oh. It floats. <laughs> How about, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I can hold three. So now I just need an anchor and I was trying to think of it. I can't think oh, of anything, but do you, you do? I do. Yes. I, I was like, I don't have anything really heavy. I'm like, I know Al has something. <laughs> they're not Dang. like heavy weighted things. They're the things that dig in. Oh, okay. Right. right. Yeah. Totally. All right. Well, whatever. Yeah. See any fish? Oh, wow. Even got a rope on it. Nice. Look at that. Well, thank you, Al. You're welcome. And Al, <laughs> he's got everything. <laughs> I think there's another there one got everything. somewhere. <laughs> one thing, you know, you don't have a floating dock made out of bins. So, <laughs> nope. it's one thing that we have. That, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Fan spinning. That means that this thing is warm. Tail whip. <laughs> tail whip. Here's your trucker, use tail whip. So this is pretty tough. It can take a screw. And I'm screwing the tent down so we don't roll off somehow in the middle of the night. Like we don't like accidentally like fall off the edge. It'll help to keep it stabilized. This tent is so easy to put together. If there's any tent that I'd want to put together on a floating dock like this, it would be this tent, this style tent. It's a fantastic tent. It's available on our website. We're close to home, so I got thick mats. <laughs> All right, Tracker, you gonna get on there? She doesn't seem too excited about it. All right, folks, and we're off. Oh, we're headed to the water. Uh-oh. Oh, we're headed towards the waterfall. <laughs> All right. All right, so we're about to find out if Al's anchor works. So throw it right in the middle there, okay? We want it to grab onto those reeds. There you go. Yeah. I think that'll work. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Nope. No, it's stuck. <laughs> oh no! What was that? That was like a Did fish. you just throw something in the water? Uh. Something big. It's a beaver. Really? Yes, beaver, right there. Right there. Oh my god. See it? Right there, big beaver. Oh, wow. Big beaver. Oh. Dude, did you see that? That was so cool. It did its tail flap. That was a giant beaver. <laughs> That's cool, beaver. So that beaver, it was letting us know, hey, this is my territory. It, it like slashed its tail in the water like, whoosh. Man, super cool.
That's brave. That's brave. Have this giant thing and the beaver's still like, get out of here. So, it's getting late. I don't have time to cook anything. We're gonna make breakfast on this boat tomorrow. But I got a sandwich, and Agent X has some leftover Chipotle. And Agent Tracker's got some dog food. <laughs> Jeffy, you want some dog food, Cliff? No, you're too good for dog, she's too good for dog food. She's like, I got that human food around. I know you're gonna feed me some of that Chipotle steak. You want some Chipotle steak? Of course you do, yeah. <laughs> She's like, I'm just gonna eat that human food. Okay. Oh. oh, that's the beaver again. The beaver just bumped the boat. What if it jumped up and tail whacked us? And started what eating? if it like attacks us during the night? I, I would not want to get attacked by a beaver. So Luke with the Outdoor Boys told me a story where he got attacked by a rabid beaver, him and Becca. So hopefully we don't get attacked by a rabid beaver. <laughs> Mar oh. Mario and the Rabbit Kingdom. There you go. Now you're eating. I think she gave up on eating the our food. She's eating the dog food now. So that is why I put this metal down here. When these coals fall out. I don't want our raft to catch on fire, so. So we got a bit of a problem. It's gonna rain a lot starting tonight and all through the morning. I don't want that front part to get all wet. I want to cook breakfast in the morning, so I'm going to have to build some kind of lean-to thing and use the Venture Agent's tarp to give us cover. Jump up and bite me. I feel like a beaver. I always feel like a beaver. Um, beaver is definitely my spirit animal. Beavers are working hard tonight, and so am I. Breath of the Wild. So Agent X and I are about to play Breath of the Wild. He's already playing. I've been playing uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and so is he. Playing it together, having some great time together, uh, gaming time together. I'm seeing little trout swimming around in there. So cool. Okay, so this could not be more perfect. Check this out. So this is the tent, and there's the tarp. And this is the back. What are you doing in my bed, Tracker, huh? Getting it all smelly for me? You play Breath of the Wild, okay? And then we got this covering right here. A beaver was attacking the boat, and it made a giant splash next to the boat. It was gigantic. <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. Agent Trinity out. <laughs> Alright, love you. You can lay down, okay? Okay. Alright, agents. Well, we're going to play some Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I found a new axe. Oh, Double nice. axe. And uh, we're going to hit the hay. We'll see you in the morning for breakfast.
I slept better than I have slept in months in here. I think I'm gonna move in. I think I'm gonna live here now. <laughs> Sleep's so important. Man, this is great sleep. I tell you what, that beaver was declaring all-out war on this boat last night. It was going to town. Just, I had a dream, and I woke up, and I was like, oh my gosh, what if the beaver chews through the bins? And like, you know, we sink. <laughs> Didn't happen. Trying to crawl in everybody's sleeping bag where it's warm, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got your own yeah, sleeping bag. Was... But I like being with you guys. You're even more warm. Breakfast is served. You gotta eat it now. pond water so we boiled it good that beaver's been pooping in it last night <laughs> so when you have grow up and have kids agent x you can say to your kids boy i tell you what when i was a kid we drank pond water with beaver poop in it what are you complaining about <laughs> uh, well what do you think you think you can live on this um, let's come to shore if we had enough food we had enough food yeah <laughs> So Agent Axe had an idea. He said we should cut into the wood right there. above one of the bins and put like a little hinging door and we could store stuff in the bins. And I'm like, that's a great idea. So I think we're going to do we that. We can do like a three day camp next out time. or a two day camp out. Yeah. <laughs> I think we'll do that next time we do an episode on this boat here. All right, Agents of Adventure, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Um, Look forward to a future episode. We're going to do something else on this, this deal. What should we do? Comment down below. I was thinking of like building a bushcraft cabin on it or something like that. And also want to remind you that this tent, the Adventure Agents tent here, is now for sale on our website. I'll put a link in the description down below for that. It's an awesome tent. It is really awesome. It's my favorite tent. That's the four-person tent. All right, Agents, remember, life's an adventure, and love is the key, and love is the who, and love loves you. Love made you love caused you to exist and love continues to uphold your existence you are valuable just because you are you just because you exist your existence is proof of your value be grateful for that i know i am whenever i get down in the darkness the deep deep dark pit of depression <laughs> i just go back to enough just that I exist. Cold. <laughs>
even if I'm cold. Even if I'm cold. <laughs> Alright, I love you, Agent Adam. I'm so glad I got to spend this time with you on this boat. Man, did you sleep good? Cold. You slept cold? Yeah, you were warm. Yeah. All when I woke up, <laughs> my sleeping bag was so twisted up uh -huh. that I could barely get my head out. It took me the first 10 seconds to realize where I was. <laughs> Lost in a sleeping bag. Like my head was like this. Yeah. <laughs> I was like stuck. And we are so glad to be back with Agent Tracker, at least for a little bit. So, anyways, all right, Agent Tech's out. Agent Tech's out. Oh, she's coming out. <laughs> Agent Tracker out. <laughs>